Check. One, one, one. Hey bike fans and welcome to another edition of Reaction to Action. Really don't have a whole lot of enthusiasm to do this one. Uh, the Christmas, the timing of the game during the Christmas holiday, uh, really, I just put this game behind me and I'm, I'm no interest in reliving it. But I'll do my best here. No, I won't. I'll just get my, <laughs> just muddle through it. This week the Vikings went into Green Bay to take on the Packers at the site where the Vikings clinched the division a year ago. But sadly, this is a new year and not last year. This year, the Vikings needed a win just to keep their thin playoffs hopes alive. Well, spoiler alert, they didn't get it. Let's see how it happened. The Packers go up 0-7 and seem to be moving the ball through the air with ease. The Vikings answer by marching down to the Packer 4, but they have to settle for a field goal. 3-7 Pack early in the game. The Pack start at their 26 and move to the Viking 26 in one play to Nelson. Two plays later and they're at the 20. Rodgers hits Adams for a touchdown. Adams clearly pushes off on Waynes to make the catch, but no flag. Did anybody catch that play? No. no. Nope. Okay, we're going to act like we're debating about it. You two do the bouncy football thing. You rub your head like it's a real tough call. <laughs> 314 pack, and Joe Buck needs a cigarette. After the kickoff, the Vikings roar back down the field using Adam Thielen and a 21-yard pass to Rudy. However, they settle for another field goal try from inside to 10. It's good. 614 pack. Vikings D force a three and out, and the Vikings start moving the ball, but then a bad snap gives the ball right back to the pack. Of course! And they start their drive at the Vikings 42. Rodgers hits Nelson for a 33-yard gain, and he hits another one for a two-yard touchdown a few plays later. 621 pack. Vikings start at the 25, and Bradford hits Morgan for a four-yard gain, and then he hits Thielen, who takes it for a 71-yard touchdown. Touchdown, Thielen. Touchdown, Viking! Thielen leads everybody in the game with 142 yards receiving. I can't stop this feeling. 13 21 pack. Packers struggle to move the ball, and a sack by Hunter on second down, and another one by Kendricks on third down makes him punt. Vikings start to move the ball, but give the ball back on a strip sack. Oh! Not sure why we don't give Clemens some help on the outside, but he definitely needs it. Packers start on their own 46 yard line after the strip fumble and move down inside the 10. Rodgers scrambles away from an unblocked Griffin, and it's a touchdown. 13-28 pack. Halftime. Vikings go three and out. Packers go three and out. Vikings start this drive, but are stopped with a holding call on third and six. They punt. Vikings D force a three and out. The Vikings offense goes three and out again. Packers start to Minnesota 44 on this drive and get to the Vikings 19, where Kendrick sacks Rodgers on third and 10. Get him, defense! Field goal try. It's good. 13-31 pack on the first play of the fourth quarter. Vikings have another three and out. Packers score a touchdown. What the f And get a bonus 15 yard flag as well. 13 38 pack. Gross and weird! Vikings move the ball and Diggs scores a touchdown. 20 30. 19 38 pack, miss extra point. Pack don't do much and punt the ball back with 339 remaining. It's 4th and 12, and Adam Thielen makes an outstanding catch for a first down. Vikings move the ball down to the Packers' one-yard line, and there's two flags in a row, one for illegal formation, back to the six-yard line. Next play, it's a holding back to the 16-yard line. Shovel pass to Rudy for eight yards. Bradford hits Thielen for a touchdown on the next play. Touchdown! That's 202 yards and two touchdowns for Adam. I'm hooked on a ceiling. That will never get used. Vikings go for two. McKinnon, who must think he's 10 feet tall, leans in from the three-yard line. He doesn't make it. <laughs> no shit. 25-38 pack. Onside kick. Vikings recover. Vikings move the ball a little bit, but give up a sack to end the game. Vikings lose and are now out of the playoffs. The game was an outstanding game for Thielen. I think it was the fifth time that a Viking receiver has gone over 200 yards. Bradford hit a career high of 382 as well. A 
few decent defensive plays, but it was just not enough to win the game. Final games versus the Bears in the new stadium. Only significance is either going to be a losing season at 7-9 and nine or an 8-8 eight and eight soccer game season. Either way, it's disappointing to end the season with a 5-0 start. I'm Berserker88, your Vike fans. School Vikings.